Do babies only see in black and white? Well, the answer might surprise you. If you're interested in finding out, keep watching. I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, follow along button so you get all these videos as soon as I make them. Do babies only see in black and white or can they see in color? This is one of the most common questions I get because I am also fellowship trained in pediatric ophthalmology. So I specialize in children's and babies' eyes. And this answer might surprise you. In fact, babies actually see in color. I know, right? Everybody, every blog post you read, if you Google search it, you'll see that it says babies only see in black and white when they're born. And that's just not true. But I'll tell you where this myth started. Neonates, which is basically tiny little babies, even that are born premature, can actually see in color, just not well. And because of that, there arose this popular myth that they only see in black and white. They definitely prefer black and white because it is high contrast and it is much easier for them to be visually responsive to those kinds of things. Hence all the black and white mobiles with you know really graphic patterns, those are great. I'm not telling you to throw those away, but babies do in fact see in color. And color is such an important part of our world and part of our visual perception. Seeing in color is actually really important for babies and how they develop and how they categorize things and even just how they interact with the world. Color vision is actually a cue for many tasks that babies do, like communication, looking at people's faces, observing the scene, all of those rely on color. And even people that have red, green color blindness, they do still see some color. And I'm gonna explain what that means in terms of a baby's vision. Now, here's the really neat thing. From birth to about six months, the babies really develop their color vision very well. That's not the end. In fact, for full color vision to develop, that doesn't even develop until late adolescence, which is pretty crazy. Even within the first six months of life, babies go from a very limited color perception to a pretty sophisticated ability to see color. Even though tiny babies born at birth can see color, it's not great. Their color perception is pretty poor. They can detect some color, just not a lot of it. And a lot of it really does depend upon the saturation of the color, how large the object is, and the hue, exactly what color it is. Because babies actually develop, because babies actually develop the color pigmented photoreceptors in a certain order. So that's why they are attracted to certain colors first. In fact, in your retina, there are 10 layers and a specific layer is called the neurosensory retina. It has the rods, and the cones. Your rods are the photoreceptors that allow you to see in black and white, and also they're responsible for your night vision. Your cones, CC, that's how I used to remember it when I was learning about it. Your cones are responsible for your color vision. Now, there are three types of cone photoreceptors. Each of them is able to see a different wavelength of light. There are red cones, green cones, and blue cones. And those let you see red light, green light, and blue light. Now you might be wondering, how can they figure out what babies are able to do? Well, they use a lot of different testing methods. They use psychosocial types of tests, which basically means they look and see how long a baby is able to stare at certain objects or certain colors. And then they also do something called visual evoked potentials, which is not harmful for a baby. It's just when they put little electrodes on the outside part on the scalp, and then they are able to judge the brain activity when a baby sees certain types of colors. And through these types of testing, they've actually found that babies, specifically infants, they develop their red green mechanisms to see red and green first. And then they develop the blue yellow mechanism about four to eight weeks later. Eventually, almost all babies, if they are not color deficient or color blind, become trichromats. So they're able to see all three different colors of pigments, the red, green, and blue. But even at age three months, when they can see three different colors, red, green, and blue, their ability to see them is still not that developed. They really need a lot of saturation in order to do so. They need like a very rich 
vibrant color of the red, green, and blue to see. Visual discrimination actually takes a really long time to develop. And that's part of what we call the critical period. Your brain, when you are young, is still developing. It's still forming the connections between the retina and the eyes and the visual centers in the occipital cortex. So that takes really until about late adolescence, 14, 15, 16. Now we've also found that babies prefer looking at certain colors, especially in that first six months of age. They like looking at bluish colors and even reddish and purplish colors. And they spent the least amount of time interacting with green and yellow. They don't really prefer those colors at all. And multiple laboratory studies, they've shown that babies actually categorize color into five categories. This is really pretty crazy. Red, green, blue, yellow, and purple. Even though they can see some of these colors when they are born, usually just the red and green, but by about six months, they are able to start discriminating color. They're looking at faces, they're looking at scenes, they're looking at objects, and they're starting to categorize it. And that's why we start getting these really bright, colorful, loveys, toys, everything. We used to have this octopus that we loved. That's what grabs their attention and that's what's going to keep them visually stimulated and just create those really strong connections between the eyes and the brain. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Did you know that babies could see a little bit of color even at birth? I'd love to know your answer. Drop it in the comments below and let me know what kinds of fun toys or mobiles or anything that you have used for your baby, drop those links to help the community out. They might, somebody else might want to buy what you've got. And as always, if you have any topics you'd like for me to address, drop those in the comments below. I read them all. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.